Wow. <laughs> yes! So we've already met St. Luce's more iconic wildlife such as the collar brown lemur, however what about the more elusive species of animals, the ones that tend to do their utmost to avoid the limelight, such as the civet? Well thankfully we have a bit of help, we have camera traps, and I have my own and also St. Luce have their own as well, so that's two pairs of eyes in the forest throughout day and night, so fingers crossed, hopefully we'll get something good. So the cameras were up and ready. Although this wasn't going to be as easy as I thought. Right, so, first camera trap, let's see what we got. So, so far there is one file, which could mean we got something. Oh no, it's just me setting it up, never mind. Oh well, that's a bit disappointing, but all we can do is try again in the end. But hey, it's the only the first time, so we've got a few more weeks here. Okay, perhaps I was being a bit too optimistic. Anything? No. Did you get anything? No. Anything? Nope. Anything this time? Nope. Uh, looks like it's going to be a lot harder than I thought, so... I think we're going to need to step up our game a bit. So I've just looked at this surrounding area, this uh, bit of opening. We had some leftover, well, a lot leftover honey, and we smeared some over the different branches and logs just to provide a scent, which hopefully it will attract various mammals, hopefully civets and um, tenrecs. And well, there's only one way to find out. So will this technique work? Well, only time will tell. Okay, so we've actually finally got something. Let's have a look. Oh, would you look at that? That's our first animal. It's a um, giant kua. Oh, that's a pretty good start. We met the giant kua several episodes ago, and they're always actively foraging during the day. They were also notably curious of the camera trap. The results started off being particularly bird heavy, attracting birds such as this Madagascar turtle dove and a flock of helmeted guinea fowl, although this bird is not actually native to Madagascar. When I looked at this video in the morning, I was particularly amused by it, and you'll see why. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, what on earth was that? This is a Madagascan crested ibis. They are a nervous species and we only saw them on a handful of occasions. They are known as the chicken of the forest, as they are commonly hunted and eaten by the locals. Okay, so this is what, about take number 15 now, the camera traps. So, let's see what we get this time. Oh my god. It's a civet, Malagasy civet. This Malagasy civet is the top predator of St. Luce, although calling it a Malagasy civet is scientifically misleading, as it does not belong to the civet family. It actually belongs to the family Eupleuridae, which represents all the Malagasy carnivores, and has a much more ancient lineage. The real, scientifically correct name for this animal is Phanaloka. Like, wow. <laughs> yes! Most of Madagascar's secretive and elusive carnivores are seldom seen, including the Phanaloka. The family Eupleuridae is made up of about 10 species, but even today, most of the Eupleurids still remain shrouded in mystery. The traps also caught the Phanaloka's arch rival, the Indian Civet. The Indian Civet has been introduced to Madagascar from India, and it's been a huge problem for conservation as it has been competing directly with Madagascar's native carnivores. However, the abundance of top predators is a good way to gauge on how healthy an ecosystem is, 
So the presence of these top two mammalian carnivores suggests that St. Lucie's ecosystems still remain healthy. At least for now.